anybody who's been held in those conditions in captivity for five years has paid an extraordinary price. But that, that is really uh, not the point. The point is that he's back. He's going to be safely reunited with his family. He served the United States with honor and distinction. And we'll have the opportunity eventually to, to learn what has transpired in, in the past years. But what's most important now is his health and well-being, that he have the opportunity uh, to recover in peace and security and be uh, reunited with his family, uh, which uh, is why this is such a joyous day. There you go. Uh, joining us now is Sandra Andrews. Uh, she is the mother of 2nd Lieutenant uh, Darren Andrews, one of the six men killed while looking for Bo Bergdahl. Uh, he was 34 years old uh, at the time and uh, died on, uh, on uh, Sandra's uh, 41st wedding anniversary, ironically and sadly enough. Sandra, welcome. And let me just say to you on the air what I said to you off the air. Uh, you have our deepest sympathies uh, and certainly uh, uh, the nation thanks you for your son's service, and, and I'm proud to have you on. Thank you for asking. I appreciate uh, when you the support. Hear, you're welcome. When you hear Susan Rice and, and when you hear the administration to this day saying, no, we didn't make a mistake making that trade, uh, what, 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 how do you react? Well, just to be nice, I think it's, uh, it's just uh, political rhetoric. I, I think uh, it's totally unfounded. I think uh, they're making, they were making statements uh, and they were ignoring all of the information that had been provided to them regarding uh, Bo's disappearance, I guess we'll say at this point. But the military uh, was on board and, and knew immediately that he had left his duty station, you know, that he he had made the decision. They knew he had sent things home to his parents in Idaho. Uh, they had the, the information that he had contacted his father, that he was unhappy, and his dad had told him, you know, follow your conscience, right, do what you, right. you know. So, so they knew they knew all this. So what 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 is the motivation? For Barack Obama, not only to make this trade and pursue this, but to invite the, the parents and celebrate them and the son and the release in the Rose Garden. What do you think is the reason? Well, I just was in disbelief. I just could not understand. There, I just couldn't. There, there's, there's really no words to adequately de you know, describe the way we felt that there were so many families that had lost sons and daughters honorably and they chose this person to highlight now your we son your son had told you uh sandra that uh they, they were looking for they were looking for bo bergdahl for this guy as he put it i think that that walked off the base correct right he never used his name right he didn't use his name he just said they were looking for a soldier uh that had walked off and uh he he was being very discreet, you know. He I think he was very frustrated. Uh, he was at the moment because it had taken all of the emphasis off of what they were doing. Uh, they were preparing. They were going to be preparing to move their uh, location, which I didn't know that, but I was told later by some of the men since we visited so often. So it, th it, just, it just superseded everything else, and it should be pointed out your son threw himself on top of two other soldiers and took an RPG, a direct hit, and died a hero uh, and was uh, rewarded with, was it the Silver Star? Yes, sir, it was. Yeah, posthumously, was. of course, and, and that should be noted. Let me just ask you this, uh, Sandra, because just when you think it can't get worse with this administration, it, it will and it does. Um, what if he's... You know, what if he cops a plea and gets no jail time? Or, or what if he is convicted and gets some, he's in jail and Obama on the way out gives him a pardon? Would that surprise you? No, it would just destroy all of my confidence that what hangs on uh, for our president. You know, there's as much as has happened, as many things that I feel were not good decisions, I still have a glimmer that he's going to make some right decisions. He just has to. 
But if he were to do that, I think that would just be the end for me. And I don't believe it would only be me. I think most uh, families that had any connection with the military would feel the same way. Sandra, uh, God bless you. And uh, and as I mentioned, uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned on the air, your husband's going through uh, some tough times health-wise. Stay strong, and uh, anytime you want to, uh, and we'll be in touch with you, anytime you want to come on and, and use our show to uh, give your feelings and express yourself, uh, please feel free. May I make one little Yeah, quickly, quickly yes, add? please, please. Yes. We are hosting a benefit May the 24th and 25th. It's a golf tournament in Cameron, Texas. And it benefits the scholarship that we have in Darren. And how, how could people find out more about that? They can go to darrenandrewsmemorial.org. Okay, darrenandrewsmemorial.org. Uh, it's D-A-R-R-Y-N. Thank you, Sandra. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank We're coming you. back, folks. Don't go away.